Well, free speech hater Ikra Khalid is at it again. The driving force behind the anti-Islamophobia motion apparently doesn't like being mocked on Twitter. So naturally, she's doing everything in her power to clamp down on this sort of dastardly discourse, too. <laughs> Have you seen any of the Ikra Khalid parody Twitter accounts? If so, the Liberal MP really, really wishes that you'd tune those out. Her feelings are being heard, after all. For what others see as humorous, she sees as being tantamount to hate speech. But of course, isn't everything? For starters, according to a Canadian press story, Miss Khalid feels she should be exempt from parody Twitter accounts because She's not a cabinet minister such as Climate Barbie. Like, that's a rule or something that only members of the cabinet should get their chops busted on Twitter. <laughs> what a nut. But here's a line that I really love from the CP story. Quote, while some of the parody accounts criticize government policy or poke fun at various ministers, the Khalid account points out her Muslim heritage and accuses her of supporting Islamic State militants or Sharia law. At least one parody account of immigration minister Ahmed Hussein, who is also Muslim, features similar sentiments, end quote. Um, sorry, but methinks this scenario falls within the bailiwick of live by the sword. After all, Khalid's motion, M103, is all about condemning systemic racism and Islamophobia. Yes, that's right. Islamophobia, as opposed to all the other phobias and all the other isms out there, gets a special mention. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> yeah, so in one regard, Khalid herself brings special mention to Islam when it comes to her anti-racism motion. But when others single out Islam for parody, well, sorry, that's just not halal. Double standard much? <clears throat> and yet, as she campaigns for the fake Twitter accounts to be removed, Khalid has the utter gall to state this, quote, Everybody has the right to speak their mind, but freedoms come with responsibility, and when we have the power to speak, we should do it with care, end quote. Um, sorry, but by her own actions and words, clearly Khalid herself doesn't believe everyone should be free to speak their mind. And just how is it that she's the self-proclaimed champion of so-called responsible free speech, like... Who's watching the watchers here, or is the utter irony lost on her? And yet, she also states this whopper in her interview with CP, quote, It's unfortunate that they are spreading fake news and sowing fear and division, end quote. Oh, division, you say, kind of like the language in your own motion, Ikra, that basically boils down to this, all racism is bad and should be condemned, but... Islamophobia is especially bad and needs to be especially condemned because Islam is exceptional? You mean that kind of division, Ikra? Uh, don't forget to carry the one. And hate to be impatient here, but I believe we still don't have a definition of Islamophobia as it pertains to M103. Then again, maybe that AWOL definition is entirely on purpose. Perhaps Islamophobia is not being defined so that this term can mean just about anything to anyone. You know, that even mockery in a Twitter parody account that insults the oh-so-sensitive sensibilities of Ikra Khalid is by default Islamophobic. Oh, great Khalid, please forgive us our trespasses. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, Rebel has a brand new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.